I honestly forgot that I cut these bangs. Again, I didn't think before I acted. Welcome to me. Hi, my name is Megan Batoon. If this is your first video, welcome. What a great time to come because things are about to change drastically. For everyone asking on the last video, what happened with the snake? Honestly, I don't know. And I am not in love with that verdict. I went inside to call my boyfriend to ask what I should do about a snake. And by the time I got my phone and came out, the snake was gone. So to be continued on that one. Okay, so. This is the living room. I will give an unofficial tour because I know I said that I was gonna do a tour of the LA place whenever I moved. <clears throat> I didn't, so instead I'm going to show you a tour of the new house with all of my stuff from that place and storage. And you know what? It's gonna be better and this is why is because you will get to see it from the very beginning, the very start, before I do anything. All I've done is place furniture, maybe style a few countertops and hang a picture or two. I have not touched the walls, nothing. So really we're going to build this house together and we're gonna learn about ourselves along the way. This is so crazy that I'm gonna actually be able to work on this house. I don't even know where I'll start. This is what I've learned in my time working with interiors and doing it yourself is one room at a time and don't start a project until another one is finished. I'm learning myself and I'm learning what I can handle and if I don't finish one project before I start another one, that project is never going to get finished. Like in my office, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do such a cool arched built-in desk. You know what? That was my first like woodworking project and I barely finished it. I never, I. That's the other thing too, I never posted videos, well, I never posted videos of what I was working on because I never finished the projects I was working on before I started a new project that overtook everything else. And then my brain went somewhere else, hyperfixate on something else, and then I never finished that project. So honestly, that was gonna be a really awesome arch. Imagine that it was. I'm no longer mad at myself for like not finishing things, I'm just like, yeah, that sounds like me. Imagine that it was finished. That's a fun thought. However, I am learning that I need to be managed in a small container of a room at a time. So with that being said, let me show you all the rooms in this house so that whenever I start working on them, we have the before shots. We'll start in here since we're already looking at it. So right when you walk in, this is what I was doing this morning. Okay, usually it looks a lot better than that. You know what? This is real. I was gonna like judge this and make it look perfect. That's Instagram. If you want that picture, check out my Instagram. This is real life. So when you walk in the front door, this is the first thing that you see. This is an entryway console table that I styled with some of my favorite interior books and a few of our favorite pieces. I wish this lamp was on, but one, there's no outlet down there. And two, it's also vintage from Italy. So it has a European plug and I can't plug it in. But imagine that it's on. To answer some questions from the last video, where are the cats? They are in LA being watched right now. I'm going to bring them next week because I didn't want them to be here when everything was getting settled. It just would have been too chaotic. And I'm glad I didn't bring them then because obviously the snake last time and I have learned now to keep the door shut. So cats are coming Two, where's my boyfriend? He is currently in LA watching the cats, but we bought this house together. And so the decor is kind of an amalgamation of both of our personalities and passions. This is a massive stone stacked fireplace. It takes up a lot of visual real estate and physical real estate in the living room. It's very cool. I've never had a fireplace before. However, it's very jolty. It jolts a lot. She jolting. She is jolting in every direction possible. I'm not going to talk about all the ideas that I have right now. This is just a tour. Keep it focused. We're not going to talk about what I'm going to do and what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to change. I'm just going to show you what is here because that's where it starts. It is what it is until it isn't. So let's see what it is. Exposed beams on the ceilings, which I freaking love. That was one of the first things that drew my eye. It's a high ceiling, it's warm, it is a mid-century home. I loved the Spanish tile. That was a big yum yum. I, don't, I actually don't know which way to go because I've never toured the house before. I'm just gonna start at the furthest corner of the entire house, which I guess will be the bathroom. <laughs> everyone's favorite first room to see. This was unplanned, but this kind of became like my Athena Calderon cauldron. I had this sconce and this is from her Benny rug collection. Surround yourself 
with work from people that inspire you. Okay, so this is the guest bathroom. Before we go any further, I think it's important to say that this place before we purchased it was staged as a medieval experience. So everything you see kind of has that undertone to it. What I really do like is that this is a guest bathroom and it has a double vanity. Not a lot of times do you see the guests have a better bathroom than the primary suite. The shower is big, it's got shower niches, it has a bench. Although when you build these benches, they need to have a decline so that the water falls and scoots down into the drain. This is not built that way, so you just get a lot of water. I will be redoing this room. Again, we're not talking about what I'm doing. It's gonna be a problem. It's not a problem now. However, the floor, it's this stone look, but not only does it look like stone, they went ahead and made it feel like stone too. So it's really scratchy and I am kind of glad that you can't feel it from here. This is the guest bedroom. Usually it doesn't look like this, but I just got a package from Brooklyn and I instantly ripped off all the sheets in the primary bedroom because I'm just too excited to have the real sheets on my bed. All of these were placeholder sheets that I had honestly in the back of my car. So truly not too much to see here. So we'll just keep it moving. This is the primary bedroom and this architectural detail absolutely floored me and I think it might be one of the main reasons why I submitted an offer. The bathroom door arch. I think that this is so sexy and special and cool and although it really doesn't make sense with a mid-century home, I love it. I feel like I'll make up my own style and make it some sort of desert hacienda mid-century retreat oasis. We'll see what that looks like. Before we go into the bathroom, I'm going to fix this room because I just hate the fact that this is the only thing that's not done now that I ripped those sheets off. You don't know how happy I am. I've been sleeping with extra blankets that were just in the car and some that were used as furniture padding. We're about to get an immediate upgrade. Oh my gosh, a sleep mask. We love to not see it. The reason I am so stoked is because this time the sheets are linen. Am I gonna literally cry today? <laughs> Before we cry and put the sheets on, Brooklyn is having their birthday sale. We love a birthday and a sale. The sale runs from April 26th to May 4th. You can get 20% off all Brooklyn and products, which you are going to want to do. I'll put a link in the description below for convenience. Can I use my own discount code? I'm gonna try. Let's get, I was gonna say let's get sheeting, but are you sheeting me? Was that better? Did we like that one better? The editor can cut this out. I am the editor. This little tote bag, a pit shopping stop that I didn't plan for. I'm just, I'm just so happy. Mm, mm, mm. French and Belgian, I'm hungry. Wow! You know what? I don't know if you have any of my merch, but if you have noticed, I love to put little messages and reminders on the tags. I mean, and the whole design. I just want cute reminders always, but look at this. Take it easy. Oh yeah, new finger tap. This is gonna be so epic because before I had those sheets on that didn't fit, I went two weeks without having a sheet on because I was too lazy to do laundry. And that's on ADHD. Look at us taking care of ourselves. This is proof. The thing about me is that I am a highly sensitive person, which means my surroundings, my environment, the people I'm around, the energy that I'm amongst really affects me on a cellular level. And that's, I think, why I care so much about interiors because it makes me feel a specific way. And if I can curate the way that I want to feel, then I can make sure that I feel safe, good, any positive emotion that I want to feel, I can design. That is why I love design. You are literally creating feelings with things that we have in this physical world. So if no one told you today, making your home beautiful is the ultimate form of self-care. So take care of yourself. Generally, linen especially, or any high quality bed sheet is so expensive. But the cool thing about Brook Linen is that it's less expensive because they're cutting out the middleman. You're getting quality and comfort at an affordable price and it feels, it is luxury, but not at a luxury price tag. My favorite sheets I've ever slept on. Seriously, Nicole and I, when we were finishing the desert project, I guess I could say the 90s place now. I think we geeked out on the sheets and the color for like 15 minutes. Look how pretty this color is. Holy, it yeah. almost has a purple to it. It does, that's why I got it. It's called Haze. Oh! And these buttons are so right, these yeah. pearl moments. Yeah. Come on, detail. Oh, I think my back is healing itself. <laughs> 
It is fully morning. Nicole is fully already doing things. I'm still here because why wouldn't I be? I don't think there's ever been a better feeling than sleeping in in absolute clouds of sheets at a headboard I made in a place that we have created. This may be the best feeling I think maybe I've ever had. This is the first time this bed has ever been made. Say it with me, the details make the difference. They don't just feel good, they look good too. Look at its imperfectly perfect little dimples. It's stonewashed so it's super soft and it's got that relaxed vibe which is very wabi-sabi, which from the entryway books you know I love. Details. Hey, have I ever said that the details matter? Look at the mattering! For anyone curious about these particular colors, I chose white and cream to keep it light and give that Oasis feel. But there are over like 20 colors and patterns you can mix and match for whatever vibe you're going for. I also got the hardcore bundle, which saved me 25% instead of buying individual items. And from there, you can customize the core sheet set that comes with pillowcases, your duvet cover, and a set of extra pillowcases. Put it all together and what do you get? Girl! The more this video goes on, the more I look like Alfalfa trying to grow his hair out from that roll. This is single-handedly the biggest room I feel like I've ever been in, which is good because both Joe and I need a lot of space. All of the walls in this house have this orange peel texture or maybe something a little bit more dated than that. The fact that I have to skim coat all of it, we're not thinking about it. We're not thinking about what we're doing. There are these massive mirrors, which is really good for getting dressed. However, it really does just scream 80s. Also another through line design feature are the purple carpets. Not a huge fan of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting because again, that does feel super dated. However, this is just so comfortable to just lay at any given point in time. Probably will become hardwood floors at some point, but that is not today and we are loving the carpet. This, I want to be a journaling nook. You can sit here and journal and then when you turn around, in an ideal world, whenever I get a paycheck, hopefully change this window into French doors. I would love to be able to get up and just walk outside as soon as I wake up and the laundry room is right next door but you have to walk around the entire property in order to get there. The girl doesn't like to walk that much. This is a little kooky dooky. The previous owner made built-in drawers which actually I don't think I could have done. So we're loving the function of it. We're not loving the form of it because once we go in the bathroom things get weirder. This bathroom layout is unorthodox. What I really wanna do is put the double vanity here. However, my water supply is on this and I don't really wanna open the wall. So this whole room is a TBD. The toilet is in this little cubby and then this, I always have to look because this was one of my favorite freaking parts about the entire house and you know what? It was also the favorite part of the rat that got in there. We had a rat and it chewed into the sauna. Yeah, there is a sauna. It doesn't get super hot, so maybe I have to fix something. My mom thinks I'm gonna get stuck in here all the time. And this is for you, mom. I told you it didn't have a handle, so I can't get locked in here. So it's like that. And that is just for you. Love you so much. This is where the shower is. There's little cubbies here where we put waterproof speakers. And this was also the passageway for that rat to get in. Hate it! And now we have made our way back to where we started, which is the living room. In front of the fireplace is our general seating area. Ah! Oh. This looks great. I, oh my gosh. I threw everything together and like zhuzhed it. I've never seen it like this before because I'm looking at it and I'm looking at all the things that I would change, but I'm not seeing what I've done so far, which is honestly, that is a life lesson because a lot of the times we're so focused on what we haven't done that we don't actually get to see with clarity everything that we did do and everything that we have done here is really good. And that for now can be enough. Ugh, that took forever to get that mindset, but here we are, it feels great. This is a little reading nook. I've actually only sat there once, but little gatos love it. If you follow me on Instagram and you saw last Christmas that I went home and my dad gave me an architectural print of our first house, I got it framed and it is gonna go in my studio, I think, but for now we just don't have enough art. I wanted to fill the space to make it not feel so sparse. And this really worked out. This is my bedroom. Look at all the space that I was grounded in. We love it, we love it, we love it. All of it will change at some point, but we love it for now. Walking through the living room, then you reach this little dining nook area. We plan to have a lot of entertaining parties slash get togethers here. So 
This table I really love because it's an extendable table. The Burlwood bar, keeping it with the 50s theme. I really wanted to pull this back down into the 50s and not so medieval. Just so you can get the layout. So you walk into the living room, then there's the dining room, and then you push this way, and now we are in the kitchen. She's still jolting. We are always jolting. We're jolting to the top. I really like the kitchen space, the fact that it ties into the living space so that if somebody is prepping food here, then they can talk. However, the kitchen island was not sold with the house. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a kitchen island at some point because I do want somebody to be able to be, wow, look at that. This is also like me learning how to film in this new space because this is the first time that I'm like showing it. I want people to be able to sit here at the bar and somebody being here prepping and then talking to everyone. Somebody could be at the bar, somebody can be at the living room, someone can be here eating a moose bouche moment and then somebody can be over here prepping. And for everybody is like, wow, you want a lot of people to be in your space and I thought you were the biggest introvert. I am the biggest introvert. When I'm with people that I love, am comfortable with and inspired by, I become extroverted and I still need time alone after spending quality moments with people I love to get back to me so that I have energy and my cup is full enough to show up in a group of people and feel not dead. Little breakfast bar. We have dual ovens, which are actually really small because I think they are still maybe from the 50s. I don't know. I wasn't there. I do wanna, I'm not supposed to tell you what I wanna do right now, but I'm just gonna say, how cool would a microwave slash air fryer be here and then an oven on top? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything else except for that. The cabinet doors don't close all the way. I do like the amount of wood in here. I think I want to make it sexier. So maybe like a walnut. Ugh, I really want to do like wood on wood. I think that would be so amazing. Like a walnut cabinet, white oak poles. Ah, we can't, we can't, we can't talk about it. It is an interesting layout too, because this happens here and that doesn't like fully makes sense to me. So I'm gonna have to like do some built-ins here, but we're not talking about what I'm gonna do. Then we walk into this room and this room is staged, staged. I live here, this is not for sale. This is what we're calling the media room. Right now we have the Love Sack theater set up. This is a desk where I'm currently editing all my videos before I renovate the studio. It's kind of like a production house in here. This is where all of our equipment is. This is what it looks like on a normal day. This is a Murphy bed, we are going to maybe make it a built-in situation. I don't actually know. Probably say goodbye to this wall, but we're not there yet. Going outside, we have a little conversation set up where the tray is about to fall off that table. Outdoor dining, this was my old office desk, a little intimate peel-off situation, and my old day bed that we put under this tree and I love, even though it gets really dirty. <laughs> if you walk across the yard, then you come into the studio here. This is why I'm not working in here right now. So this is where I will be editing my videos. This is where I will be shooting my videos. But for now, it is where I'm storing all of my sconces. It's like the inside looks so good and it's just this. This is literally the Wizard of Oz. This is behind the curtain. You have my creative art studio and I'm gonna put a door here because this is going to end up being the wood shop. Oh my God, I have a wood shop! <gasps> But for now, it is housing all of Joe's workout equipment. We have some faux brick paneling that I get to work with. And here's a neat little, do you wanna know the best part? When this becomes a wood workshop design studio, then you just open this up. This is the creative process when you walk into the studio. Oh, I wanna get inspired. Flip through a book and you get inspired. And then you go, ooh, I wanna design something. Then you come over here. My measurements are right, let's go build it. Then you open this door and then you build it. Then you walk out here and then you go, come on, this is real life. We don't love opening this door because it just feels a little like, ah! This room is undecided on what we want to do with it. Maybe it'll be a gym. Maybe it will be a bathroom. Currently, it kind of doesn't have walls. I mean, it does have walls, but the walls aren't touching and the bottom looks sketch. And also there's no ceiling. In this part, we have a little homage to Trunchbull's Chokey. This should probably be the first room that I renovate, but knowing me, it won't be. Good morning, I am in the car. I am on the way to sweat my tits off. <laughs> also, same shirt that's on sustainable fashion slash not taking a shower. I am going to LA to pick up the kittens because they are gonna become desert cats today. Never take a break. 
Also, hello. Ah, this wasn't supposed to be a tattoo tour, but this is a good thing to end the video on because we all love a good payoff. For a while, I wanted to get a Truman Show tattoo just because pff, one of my favorite movies. This is the tattoo that I got. I photoshopped it. 20 minutes before we got to the shop. It says, we accept the reality of the world with which we are presented. And it's got a little staircase because of the iconic staircase scene. I like it because it's secret until it's not. Okay, until next time, have a great day with the rest of your day. And I hope that you find something that makes you happy that you're alive. And do that thing. Also, Brooklinen, again, having the biggest sale of the entire year for their birthday. It goes from April 26th to May 4th, so clock is a little bit ticking here. The link is in the description. You'll get 20% off any Brooklinen product. Get it while you can get it. You're not going to forget it. You won't forget it. You won't miss out. You will miss out if you forget it, and that's how it is. I'm making my tour. It's just a tip. We're not legit.